Alexander, and I'm all about making the foods you love so you can indulge and still be healthy. Today, we are talking about one of my favorite foods, burgers. So I'm gonna start by making a four ounce beef burger. Yes, I am using beef, even though it's a healthy burger, but I'm only going to use four ounces. And I'm just gonna throw this right on my grill. You always want to hear that sizzle. So now I told you we're using beef today. You're probably surprised because a lot of people think, oh, healthy burger, it has to be some dry turkey burger. Well, turkey sometimes is actually more fattening, believe it or not, than beef if you're not using the right cuts. The 96% lean beef is what you want to use if you are eating beef. That has only about 140 to 150 calories and about 4.5 grams of fat. So here I have three different wheat buns. This one is your traditional hamburger bun. This is the one that a lot of fast food restaurants often use, and that's a perfect size. It's about 120 calories. Here, though, we have a large bun that are sometimes labeled hamburger buns now when they used to be called sandwich buns. Don't confuse those. These are about three and a half inches where these are about five or more. You do not want a burger big enough to put in this one. Now, these cute little slider rolls, these have 90 calories where this traditional hamburger bun has only 110. So one and a half or two at most of these little guys. Now, it's also really important to talk about how we're gonna top those burgers. They can be super juicy and flavorful if you add veggies to them. You can also add bacon, believe it or not, but you wanna make sure it's lean bacon. And then I have cheese here. Cheese is fine as long as you get a lighter version. I like to always add a lot of vegetables, so by sauteing mushrooms and onions and piling those in your burgers, or even I'm Italian, so I love sweet peppers on my burgers. Now I'm going to make a sauce for a burger. So I put in a little bit of yellow mustard followed by some low-fat mayonnaise. Now there is fat-free mayonnaise, low-fat, light, reduced fat, and, and full fat. I mean, how are you supposed to know the difference? Well, I like to use the light or reduced fat if I'm just putting a straight flavor. But when I'm mixing mustard and ketchup and then I'm going to put it on a burger with pickles and onions, low-fat is great. There you go. Just mix that together. Okay, I'm gonna put on my sauce, and then some lettuce, and some onion. As I said, the more veggies, the better, so put the flavor in there. I'm a big pickle fan, so I'm gonna do that too. And then we just put our burger. And you can add cheese, you can melt this if you like. Top it off. And as I said, this whole burger is only about 300 calories. So all you need is to follow some of these healthy tips and you can have juicy, delicious burgers without any guilt. I'm Devin Alexander with Healthy Kitchen.